Let's get this hair ready. Good morning, folks. How y'all doing? You gonna say good morning? Good morning. Good morning. All right, we're gonna wait a few seconds here before we get started on Super Tuesday. Just take off that rubber band. All right, give me a second. Let's see. Let's let me have it is. Ow! I know I'm trying. How about that? Now, can I do one thing? What are you going to do? You got the wrong thing. You need your brush. Morning, folks. What's going on? Well, we at it again this morning. And it's Super Tuesday. Alright. Now, it, it ain't the typical... Okay. It ain't your typical Super Tuesday that I'm referring to. The Super Tuesday that I'm referring to is that this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. So yesterday was Super Monday. Today is Super Tuesday. And if God bless me to see another day tomorrow, it's going to be Super Wednesday. Yeah, I know the presidency and all that stuff's going on. Yeah, I, I got that. I got that. But you know what? I was thinking yesterday that... You know, we got this race going on. We got these opponents. Oh, no. We got these people running for president. Don't know who to trust, whatever the case is. Blah, 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 blah. But you know what? I decided something. I'm the president around here. I can't control what's going to happen on Pennsylvania Avenue or who's going to go in the White House uh, as the next president. After, you got it? Yeah. After tonight. But you know what? I got to be president at my house. Pennsylvania Avenue can do whatever it want to. I still got to be president here. You know, there's so many people um, uh, after today, some friendships and stuff are going to be broke. Some some people are going to be at odds with each other because of who somebody voted for, who their, what their political stance is. And it's actually a shame because it's I'm already started. And, it, and, and I think it's really sad that uh, a person can vote for whoever they want to. They don't even have to vote. You can encourage them to vote. They can vote for whomever, but it don't matter because I still got to be the president right here on Wingfoot Foot Drive in Raleigh, Texas. So whoever go to Pennsylvania Avenue or whatever the street is that the White House is on, so be it. I still got to do her. I still got to get my kids to school. I still got to wake up and cook them breakfast. I still got to clean this house up. I still got to go to work. I still got to be who God has called me to be, regardless of what the results are. You know, that's that's why there's so many political arguments that's going on out there. I mean, people just... I, I, I One one lady told me she had defriended seven people because they didn't agree with the candidate she was voting for. So I started to question, okay, okay, are you really friends or are you acquaintances or just somebody you know? Because just take my brothers. I got three brothers, Jay Holly, Ray Henderson, Daryl Henderson. And we got some adopted brothers like Lewis and Demetrius, you know, stuff like that, that we hang together. No way in the world I'm going to fall out with my brother or my mama or my wife if they don't vote for who I vote for. No, no way. Because that lets me know it, it probably wasn't legit a legit relationship in the beginning. So I'm, you ain't going to see no fighting around here. You ain't going to see no, no, no chair throwing around here. It ain't happening. So... You know, I, I thought about that because, see, I'm the president around here and I'm working on my fourth term. I'm working on 16 years at this thing. And I'm not going to be replaced. I'm not going to be impeached. I'm not going to get involved in no fraud. And I'm going to be around here until I die, until God call me home. So I'm going to be the president down around here. So that's going to be my encouragement to you guys today. At, at all of y'all households, because I promise you, the White House is not what's going to change this world. It's going to be what you do at your house, what you teach in your kids, the way wives are loving husbands and husbands are loving wives, or if you're a single parent, the way that you're raising your household. That's what's going to change it. That's what's going to get the crime rate down. The fact that you don't took the time to be productive, to be positive, and to teach your kids not to be a part of the problem, but to be part of the solution in our country. 
Can't depend on Hillary Clinton. Can't depend on Donald Trump. I ain't depending on that one. I'm, I'm depending on Jesus because he's the one that lives in my heart. Great is he that's within me than he that's in the world. I think that's John 4 and 4, I believe. That, that's what I'm depending on right there. Will I respect whoever's in office? Absolutely. They change taxes or we go to war or somebody drop a bomb on the United States. Whatever happens, I got to keep my trust in Jesus. He's a dad. Yes. Okay, I get it. I got to keep my trust in Jesus. And so that's going to be my encouragement today to everybody on, on that's going to see this video. Whoever's going to be on uh, Pennsylvania Avenue or whatever that street is, Whatever it's going to be. I still got to have my routine here at my house in Raleigh, Texas. So that's my encouragement today. I'm going to keep on doing live as her. Uh, as y'all can see, she's getting more independent here. She needs less and less of daddy's help on this her. But this is what's important to me here. I, I, you know, I can't, can't travel the world trying to do all this stuff. I got to take care of this first. And make sure these kids understand that I love them and that dad is the president here. And I've been sworn in to protect, to serve them, to nurture them, to feed them, to provide them with food, water, and shelter. I I'm voted in here to do that right there. And that's what I'm going to do. And we dad, ain't I right don't there. need jail. You don't need jail? Okay. That's what I'm voted in to do. So what, however it goes, man. you guys voted. That's great. You know, we vote in our country. But yet and still, the basic foundation that God created, which is family, which is his institution, has to thrive. Dad? And that's going to be, yeah. Rubber band. Okay, okay, I get your rubber band. So, which is God's institution, so that's what we need to take care of. We need to take care of family, and we take care of all of these families, and we take care of our children, and teach them, then crime rate and stuff will start to go down. Drug use and all these things that's, that's hurting our country, all of that stuff will start to decrease. Fathers, mothers, take the bull by the horns, and let's take care of our families and take care of our children. Because it'd be a shame Dad, if my... Yes, baby. The rubber band. Okay, baby, I'll get the rubber band. Okay, so, well, Linda is ready for me, so I just wanted to say that today. I know everybody's voting, I got that, but I'm going to tell y'all, I'm the president right here. So, I'm in... Fourth term, and I'm going to do many more until Jesus calls me home. So, until then, y'all be cool. All right, Linda, say bye. Your hair looking like, uh, let me see. Uh, not done. I'm not done. What? Not done. You're not done? Well, what do you want me to do? Just put this rubber band on. Man. Just put the rubber band on? All right. Well, Linda's waiting on me. I got gel all over my hands. So, I guess we better get moving because they want the donut shop this morning. And that's what presidents do. Take care of your family. You take care of your kids. You live a life of character with integrity so that your kids can see it and model after it. And then that's when our country is going to change. All right, people. Appreciate y'all joining. I welcome any comments. Hope I didn't offend nobody. Take that but, later. But y'all know, uh, everybody know me long enough to know I'm going to say what I want. I, I got to say in hopes to encourage somebody. But I got to be president here. Can't run nobody else's house and I won't even try. But it, right here under this roof, I got to take care of that. All right. Y'all be cool. Thanks.